there's a lot of bluegill and smaller bass. So I'm gonna throw on this little crappie jig and I have these little panfish things from hook setters. They sent me these little panfish baits. I'm gonna try out this white one. Okay, here we go. Spread it on right there. And that should be good enough. It's kind of a bigger hook for it, but it'll be it'll work. You're getting ready to set that like a bass. <laughs> oh, got one. Oh, that's a nice one right there. <laughs> on the little jig. Dang, he's fat too. There's a little cut on him though. See behind that thing? Yeah, I don't know. You want to eat that guy or not? Um, see how bad it is. This should be fine. This is a little, tiny little cut. Oh, he's peeing on me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I think you should let him go. Just because nice. that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was crazy. He's kind of a spawning right there. Got him. Yep, got another one. Oh, this dude choked it too. That's what I like to see. It's a nice one. Good eating size. biting down and I can't take it out. I need a pair of pliers for him. Look at he choked that bait. That's how you know they work good. So this is one of the guys we're gonna be cooking right here. A nice bluegill. You know that they're big enough and you can lip them and stuff so there we go. Got another one. Tear this thing up same spot. Like two casts later. Oh yeah that's a nice one. They're as big as the palm of your hand. Good size. They got some beautiful colors on them too. Oh, I can feel like a fish moving in his stomach. <laughs> I can. He probably has a tadpole in there or something. Keeper or no? <laughs> That's a big one. That might be the biggest one yet. This one's huge. Catching these slabs like this guy. Bigger in my hand. They're fun. Catch them on this little jig made by uh, hook setters they sent us some jigs some little panfish lures and they're working great look at these bluegill nice slabs you think that's enough for a catch and cook now yeah look at that big as my hand all right we got plenty let me see how many all right guys i'm home uh great day on the water it was a long drive back and i'm not gonna do a full in-depth video on how to clean these guys i've already cleaned quite a bit as you can see these nice hand-sized bluegills caught them on hook setters jigs check in the link description below i'll leave you a link to their jigs awesome jigs caught a lot of fish on them so if you guys want to see a full in-depth how-to video on how to flay these guys Click the link right here. So, other than that, I'm getting the ingredients ready for the catch and cook. And I'm just gonna flay this guy real quick. So this is all the fish we're gonna eat right now. We're gonna finish the rest maybe tomorrow. But right here, I'm gonna show you a really simple recipe that I've recently kind of just experimented with and figured out myself and it's so simple I mean anybody can do it and I've really come to like it a lot all you're gonna need is some garlic salt some black pepper and some butter just random butter any butter will work so all I like to do is get a little sandwich bag and you're gonna throw all your fish in the sandwich bag there's no precise measurements to how much you're gonna use or anything it's all eyeballing it so you get your garlic salt and you're just gonna pour some in there. No, no precise measures, just pour out your own wheel till you feel like it's good. Then get your pepper. You don't need to add salt because the garlic salt has a salt in it already. Just 
go ahead and put a good amount of pepper in there also. And then what you're gonna do is just close the bag and give them a good mixing. You want them all to be evenly coated so you can move them around with your fingers and shake them around. So after you've mixed it up well and it's all evenly coated over all the fillets, you can just go ahead and put that aside. And then you're gonna cut some butter. I don't use too much of it. See, just a little, little piece of the stick. And then you're gonna use this almost like a replacement for oil. You, you can use oil, but I figure it comes out better with the butter. So you're gonna turn it on and you're gonna melt that butter. So it's already coming up to like a little fry right here. That's what you want. Now you're just gonna take your fillets and put them in there. We've done this for stripers, catfish, any fish we get now really. It works pretty good for all the fish. It turns out really good. And I uh, really recommend you guys try this recipe. It's super easy. And we're just going to cook these guys until we feel like they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and keep cooking. I'll flip some of them and just keep cooking. So this recipe is also uh, really versatile. Yeah. Yeah. So we've used this recipe for a lot of different things and we've used it over open fires on the grill everything it always seems to turn out good it never really turns out bad so they're looking like they're almost done here a little bit longer and i'm gonna start getting the plate ready so bluegill is not a really big fish so they don't take very long to cook and you'll know they're done when they start falling apart pretty easy and these dudes are already starting to fall apart a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. They're pretty much done now. And we're gonna take it off there so it cools down and these are good. We're gonna throw these on our plate. And these are done, ready to be eaten. So this recipe you can use uh, in a variety of different ways actually we used it without the butter over an open fire before and it turned out really good still without the butter without frying this open over open fire we've done it on grills different things it's so simple but turns out so delicious so we're gonna go around the house and see how people like it so this is my brother Julian right here and he's one of the pickiest eaters on this planet probably, so he's gonna go ahead and try the fish I just cooked up. I can taste, you guys can put pepper on it. I can tell it's fish. But all I gotta say is, in total, in conclusion, this is gooder and good! <laughs> oh, thank you. He's always a baby. This is pretty good though. <laughs> so you liked it? <laughs> Taste a little piece of that. One. All right, guys. So this is a very simple recipe you guys can do. Easy, as you guys can see, it was very fast, simple. You, everybody probably has those ingredients at their house. I really recommend you guys try this recipe. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. <laughs>